Hi everyone, welcome back to the next build video for the for the Blood and Chrome Razor Raider. Um, as I explained in the previous video, I'm going to go over the cockpit sections of what I've done to prepare it. Um, it's not completely done yet, but it's just a couple of gluing bits to, to do and then it's done. Um, so what I've done is I've painted the, uh, the base section with uh, German grey and then I've just taken plain, plain neutral grey and painted the, uh, the seats. Um, obviously you need to prepare these parts before the time so sand the rear of the um of the base if you need to um prepare the edges fit this into the into the body before you paint um, same with all the other parts um as with the with the cylons themselves um sand down the rear end where the little nibs are from the support from the printing um these two little rear sections which are the on each side of the commander Sand them down on each side so they fit into the into the gaps on the rear of the cockpit. Um, what I did then was I painted the um, all the main parts with uh, German grey. Um, I covered the consoles with with masking fluid and then pulled it off afterwards before painting it white. And this is insignia white I painted. Um, I don't have decals for this, but if you have decals, then stick them on. Okay, what I did then was I used the Tamiya wash, um, dark panel line accent wash, just to do the, um, into these little lines. And then I did a, a silver trim around the edge. Okay, as with the pilots and the commander, okay, he's obviously a gold color, the rest are silver. And I'm still going to whack these with, the, with a gloss. And then I just painted the, um, the chest, lower central chest piece um, in, uh, in a darker grey colour, um, almost black. Okay, and then the arms, um, then the rib parts black and then the, the hand in black as well. Okay, the seats, uh, you can do what you want, add it silver on the sides and then a dark colour in the, in the centre. That's your choice, what you do. Um, and the pipes, I did black with silver light silver over the top okay so how these go in is okay this goes onto the body okay it doesn't actually go onto this this base so it essentially sits like this in front of the uh sorry in front of the two pilots okay you can add lighting um i have made them hollow on the bottom okay this piece uh is the commander's console uh, slips over this uh, square piece you can glue it on and then the two pipe bits okay they glue on between the little hole on the floor and the, the, the little hole on the back of the um, console okay one on each side okay if you're going to add lighting and you want don't, don't want to glue this on just glue it on the, on the top piece okay um, I haven't glued the arms on yet. Um, the heads, I just push them on. They, they, they squeeze fit. A little bit of sanding around the, around the, 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 the neck, but they go on pretty easily. The arms don't squeeze on like the head does. You need to just glue them on. Okay. Um, here's a commander. Okay. As per the reference you'll get. Um, the dark areas I'm still going to do the red spot for the eyes there is a possibility of adding fiber optic if you drill a very small hole in the back of the head I'm not sure if it's possible um, could be it could be done it look quite nice if the eyes shine um, you can see through the through the, 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 the slats of the um, the louvre on the, on, on, the, on the canopy so the colors I use just to, you don't have to use what colors I'm using, but I use flat aluminium for the pilots. I, I didn't have silver, so I use aluminium and then gold leaf for the, um, for the commander. Okay, so um, and it goes together pretty easily. I mean, these rear chair bits just literally slip in. One is slightly longer than the others. Um, that's the rear one. So measure them out before you do anything. So this one is a little bit longer than the rest. That's the commander's chair. Okay, that basically just slips in and it stays in. 
Okay, so other than gluing the arms on and legs if you want to, eh? you don't have to glue anything together other than maybe them onto the seats. Um, it's your choice if you want to glue stuff together or not, which is quite nice to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say on the on the cockpit, and then this literally just slips into the body. So you don't even have to glue this in, uh, which uh, makes it convenient for lighting. So you can remove it, add lighting at a, at a, at a later stage. Okay, so that's it for the cockpit. So until the next video, which will be the painting of the body. Thanks guys, cheers.